Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here. And as you guys know, I love investing into the stock markets and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys also do. And the idea is that whenever I talk about investing, usually people talk to me about, hey, let's buy Tesla, let's buy Amazon, let's buy these big, big companies and hope to make some money and I hope in the long term they're going to be profitable, but more importantly, hope they're actually going to be here forever. That way we don't actually lose our money. But what would happen instead of buying one stock or two stocks or three stocks, or like three companies, whatever it is, what happens if you go ahead and you buy every single stock in the entire US stock market? What would happen then? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video right here. And is it possible? Is it a good idea? And by the way, in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it how to buy every single stock in the stock market and also how it is actually going to benefit you instead of just going out there and picking one company or one stock and the next thing you know, the company goes bankrupt in like five to 10 years and then boom, what do you do now, okay? In this video, we're gonna break everything down. And by the way, if you're new here, I post every single day. So make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And on top of that, also destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps a lot, so thank you guys so much, okay? Now, the first thing is this. Tell me, why the heck would I wanna go out there and buy the entire stock market? And is it even possible, okay? Why would I do it? The answer is, if you know about diversification, it's the idea that whenever you invest into a company and you only have that one company right there, you run a lot of risk because basically if the company goes down, it goes bankrupt, well, you just lost your money and that's why it's so risky. So basically by owning the entire stock market in a way you have like the ultimate diversification because basically it doesn't matter if one company fails because in reality you own every single company in the entire stock market. So in reality you have like the master key to the entire market and you don't have to worry about one company or two companies. Now, now there is a problem with the strategy. And the problem is that basically, if you personally went ahead and said, you know, Tommy, it's a great idea. I'm gonna go ahead and buy every single company in the entire stock market, in the US at least, right? But the answer is that basically, there are around 3,500 companies right now in the US that are actually public. So you'd have to buy every single one of them. And say, for example, every single one of them costs like maybe like $15, by the way, that's not true. The average price may be like a lot higher, but the idea is if you buy 3,500 companies and you pay $15 per share on all those companies, well, just to get started with your plan, you will need around $52,500. So obviously, right off the bat, this plan, although it sounds cool, is going to be one, very costly, very pricey, very expensive, and on top of that, very inconvenient, and on top of that, it's going to require a lot of skill to go out there, buy all those companies, make sure everything is actually balanced out, and you don't have to worry about like, hey, what happens next year? Like, if another company comes in, do I buy that company? Do I wait for later? The answer is, it's going to be a pain in the butt, if you know what I mean, right? So you wanna avoid that. But obviously, guys, the pros and cons to this idea right here are very simple to understand, right? So the pro is that basically, you have the master key to the entire stock market, so basically, you have ultimate diversification. On top of that, because you own the entire stock market, in a sense, in reality, you're going to get the average return for the entire market, because basically, you own the entire stock market. And the con is that basically, hey, one, is expensive, and two, it's very inconvenient. So although this idea is great to diversify, also basically get the entire return for the market, the con is that, hey, how am I gonna get the money to buy all these companies and manage the entire thing by myself, solo? It's gonna be impossible, almost, okay? You could do it, but it's gonna be impossible. But here is a way to actually go out there and buy the entire stock market, but get rid of all the cons and only stay with the pros. So basically, the reservation is also going to be cheap, and on top of that, it's gonna get you the average return for the entire market. Well, tell me how exactly do I do it? Well, the answer is, guys, there are actually two ways to actually do this. And by the way, okay, when you're buying the entire stock market, what you basically want to get is the index for the entire return of the entire stock market as a whole. So basically, the two ways to basically do it is by either buying an ETF, exchange traded fund, those are basically funds that are traded in the public market, that way you can buy like a normal stock, right? Or you can go ahead and basically invest into an index fund. Now, it sounds simple, I know, but there is one massive con here because basically, although it's simple to do, and by the way, don't worry, I'll tell you exactly what to buy, where to buy, how much it'll cost, everything later on. But the idea is if you pick the wrong company, 
in reality, they're gonna charge you a fee. And usually, if you join the wrong index fund or the wrong mutual fund, the idea is they're gonna charge you around one to 2% of the value of your portfolio every single year. And you might say, Tommy, well, that sounds pretty fair because basically, it's more convenient for me, it's also a lot cheaper, and that way, I don't have to worry about anything, right? Because they're doing all the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let me explain here because in reality, that one to 2% fee from that mutual fund that you might pick, in reality, is going to cost you around 33% of your entire portfolio. And then, right there, in your eyes, I can see it, it doesn't sound that fair anymore. Because in reality, if you're putting in your hard-earned money, why does that person get to keep 33% of your money? The answer is, it's not fair, it's not cool. And Tommy, you might say, hey, how is that possible? Because in reality, say for example, every single year, your portfolio gets to run an average return of around 8%. So you make every single year 8%. Here it is, 8%, right? But they take 2%, taxes, 2%, inflation, 2%. You get left with 2% just for yourself, okay? And that's the idea. And usually, those mutual funds basically trade a lot every single year, and next thing you know, guess what happens? Next thing you know, you also have a tax burden at the end of the year, although all you want to do is just hold on for a very long time. So, if you pick the wrong mutual fund, it's going to cost you a lot of money, so you want to avoid that, and that's why I'm going to offer you guys a better option. And that option is basically Vanguard, okay? And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Vanguard. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever, but what I do have is respect for a company that's been around for a very long time, and on top of that, historically charges the lowest fees in the entire financial industry, okay? So that's why I'm recommending them right now. And the idea is if you join a mutual fund or buy an index fund with Vanguard, in reality, they're not gonna charge you one or 2%, they're gonna charge you an expense ratio around 0.14% to maybe 0.20% on average, depending on the index that you invest into or the fund or the ETF you actually buy. But the idea is this way, you get to keep a ton of your money and don't have to pay it out to anyone else, okay? So, so far, we understand the pros and cons. We understand how to save money by going with Vanguard, but tell me, how do I go out there and actually do it? What do I buy? What do I invest into? And where do I go ahead and open an account? And on top of that, how much is it going to cost me, bro? Well, the answer is if you wanna buy an ETF that basically tracks the entire index of the whole stock market, you wanna buy this one, and the ticker symbol is called VTI. By the way, everything I'm saying here is linked down below, that way you know exactly, but here it is also, V. T I V as in Victor, T as in Tommy, and I as in I know you, bro. I know where you live. I know your house number. So I'll be watching outside to make sure you know exactly what you're looking into, okay? But let's just leave that aside. But the idea is if you buy this right here, you're going to get the same effect as an index fund because basically it tracks the same index. It's basically the total stock market. But there is one con, and the con is that basically it costs around $171 per share. And you might say, Tommy, that's not $52,000, but it is still a lot of money. But in reality, there is a way to actually get around that. You guys know I'm here for you. Don't worry about it. You can actually go ahead, open an account, for example, with Robinhood, M1 Finance, Fidelity, Schwab's, any of those accounts that basically allow fractional share buying. And you can go in there and buy the exact same ETF for a fraction of the price by just buying a fraction of the value. So for example, if all you have is five bucks or $10, well, you can actually buy $10 worth of the stock or the ETF in this case, and that way you're investing into it, but you're not required to buy the entire share as a whole because although Vanguard is great, if you open up a Vanguard account directly, they will require you to buy the entire share every time you want to invest into it. And 171 can be a lot of money. 10 shares right there is around what, like $1,700? So it is costly. It's gonna cost you money. And that's why I recommend just use Robinhood or M1 Finance, or for example, Fidelity or Schwab's, whatever you wanna use, and basically buy a fraction of the company, and that way you can invest without having to have all the money at once. And just to show you guys a brief tutorial of how to do this, I'm gonna get very close and personal with you, but you know, we're friends, so we're good to go, right? No, no hard feelings here. Here it is, I'm on Robinhood. All you have to do is click the hourglass to kinda of like find it, and type in VT, well, sorry about that, 
T-I, and there you go, Vanguard Total Stock Market. You click it, and basically right there, it costs around 171, but again, you can buy a fraction of it. And that's the idea if you wanna invest, for example, with Robinhood or any other investment app, for example, M1 Finance, Fidelity, or Schwab's. You get the point now, right? But that's the idea if you wanna go ahead and buy an ETF. But Tommy, what if I want to invest into the index fund, okay, directly with Vanguard? That way, I don't have the fees and anything like that, and everything is simple. Well, well, the idea is that all Although this index fund right here only costs around $83, and by the way, the ticker symbol is VTSMX. Here it is right here in case you don't understand what I'm saying because sometimes I do get things mixed up. But the answer is that basically, although it is cheap, the idea is that you do have to invest a minimum amount of money to actually get started. And that is around $3 thousand dollars which is actually a ton of money if you don't have that much you have two options here you buy the etf or you save up the money and then boom you can invest into it later on and by the way okay the idea is that to get started with Vanguard, sometimes it's like 300, 500 dollars as initial deposits. It does cost some money, but in the end, you do save a ton of money. And that's the core idea here. So overall, guys, okay, by the end of this video, and we're at the end here, you should have learned exactly why is a good idea, how to do it, and how to also not pay anyone one to two percent of your portfolio to manage it but basically do nothing whatsoever and by the way if you have a parent right now and they have like a portfolio like this one ask them how much they pay and if they pay a lot of money transfer them over to vanguard you can roll it over okay but that way they save a ton of money but by the by, but most likely to be honest here it's a little bit too late but at least it can save money now and that's the idea and also one more thing guys is that basically if you notice if you can track the entire stock market and invest into it with this index fund, or for example, an ETF, you can also track, for example, small cap, large cap, mid cap stocks, and also international companies. And on top of that, any type of company that you want to invest into. So whenever you want to invest, for example, into one company, Tesla, or for example, a tech company, the answer is why not just buy the entire industry by buying an index fund or an ETF that tracks the entire tech industry or car industry or whatever you actually want to get into. That's a smarter way to probably do it and not take the risk of buying a single stock. And if you wanna know how I invest, the answer is I use an app called Acorns and I invest in something called Moderately Aggressive and that portfolio has, for example, the S&P 500, also international companies, also mid cap and small cap companies, and on top of that, bonds and also corporate bonds, that way, I'm all around balanced. So if you want to do everything here passively, be diversified, and just invest money, the answer is probably Acorns. I'm going to put a link down below. You sign up with my link. You got five bucks, and that way you do exactly what I do when it comes to investing. But hopefully this video right here helped you a ton. Comment down below and let me know. That way I know if it actually helped you, okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like this video right here. Well, like this video on top of all. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can text me by signing up for my Patreon, link down below, or for example, just send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And on top of that, if you wanna watch another video basically on how much money I make in dividends, well, here's a video right here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.